today i am going to discuss about universal coupling or sometimes it is called as hooks joint and this is a figure of universal coupling so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management in fact hooks joint is actually one of the category of universal coupling and in the previous videos we have seen all these types of the coupling now it's turn for the universal coupling so let's start with the function universal joint is a positive mechanical joint used for connecting shafts here you can see whose axes are inclined at an angle to each other here you can see both are not collinear but having some angle to transmit motion power or both that means very simple it is used to transmit power motion or both from the driving shaft to the driven shaft where these both shaft are not collinear but having some angle it is also known as universal coupling u joint cardan joint and hooks joint this joint was first applied by english physicist and mathematician robert hooke to connect two misaligned shafts that's why it is sometimes known as hooke joint now construction the simplest and most common universal coupling is called cardan joint or hooke joint it is shown in figure the end of each shaft is fork to u shape here you can see and each fork provides two bearing here you can see two bearing for the arm the arms of the cross are perpendicular to each other in this figure you can see both the arms are perpendicular to each other and this component is called as cross sometimes it is called as the spider also and this u shape is known as yoke also and exactly in this figure you can understand both the shaft are not collinear but having some angle beta now working so let's see first of all the animation of this universal coupling you can see the power is transmitted from the driving shaft to the driven shaft with the help of the hooks joint power is transmitted from fork of driving shaft here you can see to cross through the pins then it is further transmitted from cross to fork of driven shaft through once again pin the inclination of these two shaft may be constant but in actual practice it varies when the motion is transmitted so in actual practice that means in operating condition the inclination of the two shaft may be constant or may not be constant let's say it is like that the angle between the two shaft during the working condition can be vary also in fact it is double hook joint here you can see double hook joint now next image for examination so here you can see these are the two arms of cross both are perpendicular to each other and this one is the fork end of the two shaft and this one is the cross and here you can see the angle between the two shaft now next look at this animation of the universal coupling carefully and this one is the disassembly of the universal coupling next application of universal coupling 
here you can see the universal coupling is used so if you zoom in then you can see the universal coupling so this is the location in the car of universal coupling sometimes it is called as universal joint also so a good example would be the usage of this joint for transmission of power from the engine to the rear differential via propeller shaft it is also used in stone crushers centrifugal blowers centrifugal fans centrifugal pumps bell conveyors control mechanisms marine equipments etc more images to understand the universal coupling this is the assembly and this one is the disassembly of the universal coupling so that exactly you can understand the construction and working of the universal coupling more images here you can see the animation of the double hook joint now look at this figure carefully the assembly of the universal coupling and this one is the final assembly of universal coupling and here you can see the power is transmitted from driving shaft to driven shaft if you want to see more engineering videos subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video